As part of the normalization of relations between Washington and Havana, United States President Barack Obama now says he plans to remove Cuba from the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. Here's more now on what is a historic development. Since the United States and Cuba began the process of reestablishing diplomatic relations last year, the island nation has been emphatic about it being removed from the U.S.'s list of state sponsors of terrorism. On Tuesday, U.S. President Barack Obama conceded to the Cubans' demand by sending to Congress his intention to remove Cuba from the infamous list. In an official document, Obama highlighted the fact that Cuba has not provided support for terrorism in the past six months and that the Cuban government has pledged to not support terrorism in the future. The measure is important not only because it will push forward bilateral relations, but because it will also allow Cuba to access important financial resources that are otherwise blocked due to the classification. There are two implications. One is a political legitimacy. The other one is financial. They have less financial difficulties uh, to find credit and to find loans in the international financial market and also in the U.S. market. For its part, the Cuban government, led by President Raul Castro, acknowledged this major development in relations, stating that the Cuban government recognizes the just decision taken by the President of the United States in eliminating Cuba from a list which it never should have been on. Our country has been the victim of hundreds of acts of terrorism which have cost the lives of 3,478 people. One of these attacks includes the bombing of Cuban Flight 455, which killed 73 people in 1976. The mastermind behind the terrorist act, Posada Carriles, continues to live free in the United States. Meanwhile, the response from the conservative sectors of U.S. society to Obama's decision has not been slow in coming. Right-wing Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who recently announced his intention to run for president, called the Obama decision a mistake and attempted to use the case of former Black Panther Asada Shakur, currently residing in Cuba, as justification of keeping the island on the terrorism list. Cuba is a state sponsor of terrorism. They harbor fugitives of American justice, including someone who, who killed a police officer in New Jersey tw over 30 years ago. It's also the country that's helping North Korea evade weapons sanctions by the United Nations. They should have remained on the list of state sponsors of terrorism, and I think sends a chilling message to our enemies abroad that this White House is no longer seriously serious about calling terrorism by its proper name. The reactions on the streets of Cuba, however, have been very different. It's time, it's time that Obama realized that Cuba is not what they say the world over. It's time to reestablish ties between Cuba and the United States. I don't think Cuba should be on that list. Cuba doesn't sponsor terrorism. On the contrary, it helps many countries. Obama's request has been sent to the U.S. Congress, which will have 45 days to respond. Regardless of Congress's response, the measure will take effect, allowing for the normalization of relations between Cuba and the United States to continue moving forward. Now, what remains for Cubans is a definitive end to the blockade that has been imposed on the nation for more than 50 years. And we go now to our correspondent in Washington, Jorge Gestoso, with some of the reactions from U.S. government officials following this decision. After President Obama announced that he's removing Cuba from the list of countries that sponsor terrorism, there has been reactions. The Secretary General of the Organization of American States, the OAS, Jose Miguel Insulza, has said, I'm glad to hear it. I understand it's the only thing that is delaying the restoration of relations. The White House spokesman, Josh Yarnes, has said that the removal of Cuba from that list doesn't mean that the U.S. still have big difference with the government of Cuba. And the Cuban-Americans legislator from South Florida expressed the disappointment with the decision of President Obama. 